That's the, the mood of the country right now where public service workers like you are under attack like never before. Now, you're part of a real big union. We are the largest union in the AFL-CIO, 1.6 million members. That's a lot of folks. A lot of power. We've got a lot of juice. But we've got that juice because of the work that you do and the commitment that you show every single day. Now I want to go back a little bit in history and then I want to talk about what confronts all of us and then if we've got some time, if you want to ask me some questions or make some comments, that's fine too. But Dayton alluded to this and he talked about this. I had to come to Hawaii quite often, about 14 years ago, 13 years ago. Had to visit UPW. We had to make some things straight. Straighten it out, okay? 
for the benefit of all of you. And your national union was involved in that process. I was involved directly in this process. I remember making a trip out to Washington, having meetings when I landed, had meetings in the morning, and then I flew back to Washington the next day. I will never do that again. That was crazy, okay? That was just absolutely nuts. But we were here and we came here to work with you, to strengthen your union, to strengthen UPW. That's exactly what we did. And I remember when we started leaving the scene and we gave the union back to you. Dayton was elected, scene was elected. And I remember making a speech before I went back to DC. And essentially what I said was, the union is you. Thank you. 